I feel both sad and honoured to be able to say on behalf of the people of the Bailiwick some words and tribute to our great monarch, our great queen, our great duke. Uh, I, like most of the people in the Bailiwick, can only really remember one, one queen. I was seven months old when she became queen. I was less than two when she was crowned. But we mustn't forget that there are citizens of the Bailiwick who remember Her Majesty, standing by the side of her father during the Second World War with all the challenges that that gave, and coming to this island just four years after the uh, end of the war to open the Princess Elizabeth Hospital, a hospital that still bears that name today. Look at the changes. In 1952, people crammed around a black and white TV set and watched the coronation. There weren't many TV sets, but there were lots of people watching the coronation. Her Majesty over the last 70 years has reigned stoically, with dignity, with pride, and she's adopted changes. The world has changed. The world is more cosmopolitan. These islands are more cosmopolitan. We have changed. We're much more open to travel. We have the opportunities that we didn't have. A computer was something that technically existed in 1952, but nobody really knew about it. Her Majesty's lived through all of that. She's lived through the changes from empire to commonwealth. She's lived through the changes that have left the commonwealth as the most enduring post-imperialist uh, coalition of countries uh, that has ever existed in the history of the world. She's the third great female monarch, uh, but she is the greatest monarch that we've ever had. We will miss her considerably. Now, women's rights, women's duties, women's place in society has changed, not least and in fact probably mostly because we've had a queen of her standing for the last 70 years. Professions have opened that never existed to women before, opportunities have opened, things have, things have changed. But although the world has changed, the world has envied Her Majesty for her dignity, for her temperament, for her empathy with her people, for her empathy with people at large. She has been a truly, truly great figure. We will miss her in Miss Bailiwick. We wish her well. Uh, we, of course, have a, a considerable sympathy for the royal family uh, and other members who are close to Her Majesty. I would like to say to Her Majesty, if it's possible for her to hear this, we will miss you. Rest in peace, Your Majesty.